Tonight, a group of veterans with service animals were told by an employee at a Fairfax County restaurant that they could not eat inside. After WUSA 9 started asking questions, the owner of that restaurant, who was a veteran himself, says he is outraged and he told our Katie Lusso tonight this will never happen again. And we had always gone to the Blue Iguana in the past, so it was a surprise. Sunny Madsen is the founder of Canine Caring Angels. She says on February 17th, she called Blue Iguana in Fairfax County to confirm a reservation for a celebration dinner for a group of veterans and newly graduated certified service dogs. They said, if you have dogs, you have to sit outside and it doesn't matter if it's cold, which was a little rude. But I said, well, I just wanted to remind you these are service dogs. And he said, it doesn't matter. Madsen says she was shocked. I said, it's illegal to deny veterans and their service dogs in a building. And he said, I know. So then I asked for a manager and he said, it doesn't matter. They're standing right here. And I told them twice. Within 24 hours of WUSA 9 reaching out to the Blue Iguana, the owner got back to us. We take things like this serious. Dr. Clifton Wilcox says he was shocked to see our email about what had happened. From a military family also being a 100% permanent disabled veteran, this, this shouldn't happen. And uh, unfortunately, it happened on my watch. He says it was a new employee. Doesn't excuse what took place. We're, we're taking um, drastic measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Per federal law, businesses that serve the public must allow service animals. And you're only allowed to ask two questions. Is the dog a service animal? And what work or task has the dog been trained to perform? Even asking those questions can be enough to trigger an individual to a debilitating level of anxiety. Dr. Wilcox says this is a reminder to other business owners. Don't assume your employees know these rules. Make sure they do. His certainly do now. It did take place. I will admit that, but I can I can assure you it will not happen again. And that, Madsen says, is good news. But I'm really happy to hear that because I would like to take my people back to the Blue Iguana now. Now, I was able to connect Madsen and Dr. Wilcox tonight, and he has assured me that his employees are all up to speed on those rules, and he plans to make it right with canine caring angels. Now, if you need a refresher on the rules when it comes to service animals, we've posted the info up for you on WUSA9.com. Leslie? Well, you can really appreciate the transparency, mm -hmm. and clearly, that's going to go a long way. Yep. All right. Thanks, Katie. All right. Still ahead.